Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. All right, guys, welcome back. To another fight for Villain Wars. Yeah. Um, as I told you in the last fight, this one, fight number three comes from me. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And are fans of these two characters as well. Uh, so, I give you the combatants. Hordak. Versus Mom-Ra. So we have the leader of the Hordak Empire versus the ever-living source of evil. So let's, let's talk about this. Let's give a little bit of rundown of the two combatants. Let's start off with Hordak. Now, Hordak is the ancient leader of the Hordak Empire. Um, his real name is the, his name is Hector Core, Hector Core, yeah, there we go. Um, he he is the uh, he was the second born second born to rule the Horde Empire. Now Hordak, as you all know, is is they kind of classify him being more of uh, He Man's sister's villain, Shira, but he is a uh, he is also a a villain just to both. You know, he has he has also battled uh, King Hiss and his Snake Men. Uh, he has done a lot of things, guys. Um, of course, he is also the how can I put it? The uh, master of Skeletor. Uh, he trained Skeletor in the dark arts, so Skeletor is like his. His Padawan, or you know, his Sif. He's like the Sif Lord to Skeletor. Let's put it like that. Uh, so I don't need to go really in too much detail, but let's let's talk about how powerful Hordak is. Um, Hordak is a master of the dark arts. Uh, the biggest fight he has had in terms of before He Man. Was probably when he faced King Grayskull himself, um, and his body was shattered. Uh, so he custom, he had made a like a mechanical uh, body. Uh, he has the ability to uh, shape change as well. Uh, he can teleport. His uh, his dark powers are really much focused on destruction and who he is as a as a person you know this guy is pure evil and his dark powers eludes that pretty much um he is a uh, he is pretty much fueled by fear that that's pretty much like he gets off on fear uh anybody he enslaves that's who hordak is he is still a threat though he looks like a vampire don't let that fool you. He's not a vampire. He's not a vampire at all. But he is a, a he is seriously a threat to the Eternian people. And if it wasn't for people like He-Man and Shira and all them, and yeah, Eternia would probably have falls or fell to uh, Hordak. So we move on to his combatant in this. And I'm like a kid in a candy store, guys, because these, these are characters I grew up with. Remember, I'm a child of the 80s. And uh, we move on to Mom Ra, ever living source of evil. I love saying that. Uh, Mom Ra is one of my favorite animated villains. Before he before they moved Thundercats to comics, he was just he was just an animated villain. He's one of my favorite. He's one of my top. 10. I think he's number one, actually, if I remember correctly. 
Yes, thank you. Uh, now, you all know Mumra. He was at some point, he was a pharaoh or a dark pharaoh at times. Especially if you read the Wildstorm comics, they kind of give a little bit of a, a uh, origin of what he was before. But we're just talking about what Mumra was now. He is the mystical ancients. He in he is the mystical demon sorcerer. Let's just put it like that. He's an immortal sorcerer. He invokes the power from the ancient spirits of evil. You know the saying, ancient spirits of evil transform this decayed form into Mumra the ever living. He's basically what I like to call a super mummy. Let's just put it like that. He's a mummy, but he's not like the type of mummy like you could just break a finger and they'll break right off. He looks like he's still kind of has a lot of bone structure intact, e even when he's in his weakened form. And that's and I, I say that with a, a little bit of weakened form, ha ha ha, because even when he is like looks all decrepit, he's still dangerous. Now, as you all know. Mumra is immortal. He pretty much does not age. Can't kill him for some reason. What's that old saying as well? Wherever evil, Mumra will live. He, wherever evil is, Mumra will live. He feeds off of evil. He, he can shapeshift. He uh, can raise creatures from the dead. We've seen him do that. He heals. Um, of course, he's semi-telepathic. He can fly. Uh, he can he does a lot of he likes to possess people too. I've seen him do that he, And he does like to stalk. Thank you. Uh, that was my brother who said that he does like to, it if anything threatens his well-being in terms of Conquering he becomes like their eternal stalker hence the, the Thundercats. He's pretty good at um swordsmanship and unarmed combat, but then of course there is the weakness now you may laugh at it but it is kind of funny uh, it, it is kind of funny to laugh at and I thought that was pretty funny that uh, Ted Wolf and them would create this for him it seems that he is fear of his own hideous appearance that that you know uh, that's his weakness uh, now if you take it from the 2011 series he was more like a creature of the night where the sun hurts him uh, but Mumra is, a, is a, a threat no matter what you know he he is a threat to the, the, the cats the Thundercats and he's always trying to get the power of the eye of a Thundera and he's always trying to outwit out out think the cats and he's very intelligent too. Don't, don't let that fool you too. But he's seasoned in terms of how many years he's been around. So that's another thing. But uh, Mumra's is Mumra's crazy. Okay, let's just put it like that. So battle breakdown, guys. All right. Two ancient forces battling each other. Hordak, Mumra. Now, right off the bat, Mumra don't really play too well with others. If you ever watch the series, the old school series or not, Mumra really, he doesn't really like to play well with the other villains of Thundercats. He kind of keeps a distance from them. Even the, the, whether it's the Lunatacks or the Mutants, he keeps them at bay. You know, he'll, they'll, he'll help out when he can, but it's almost like me, me, me. Me, 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 me. And with Hordak, Hordak's kind of that way too. These two have big egos. And you got two big egos and two forces come together. Yeah, they're going to collide and they're going to they're gonna hit hard at each other. So this will be a fight that is going to go down swinging, dark magic, flying everywhere. It just, the worst thing that will happen, well I say what happened, is the people, the inhabitants, wherever they fight because they they're not gonna give a damn about any of them but 
sorcery wise and I still say Mumra takes it however if Hordak could maybe find or deplete Mumra of his power remember Mumra he can't stay in his super form for too long you know it has its limits and we've seen that if Hordak can beat him to that Hordak can win so this battle can go either side but I leave it to you I want to hear what you guys think Hordak or Mumra and other than that guys I will see you guys later on this week for two more fights uh, let's see who's the next requester uh, okay yeah fight number four is uh, Dylan Malone uh, 14 and another fight for me it always will go requester and then a fight for me uh, so four and five will be later on this week as well and uh, for Dylan he has me he puts uh, Bullseye versus Vamp from Metal Gear Solid and the fight I have number five is uh, well I don't want to ruin it I'll just give you one of the combatants M. Bison <laughs> yeah uh, but I'll see you guys next time later on and uh Toodles.